Welcome to Symphony Workshop, I'm Gary Clark and this is the first recording in a series where I'm going to take a closer look at certain Symphony components and how you can use them not only in Symphony Framework projects but also in non-Symphony Framework projects. I'm going to start off with one of my favourite components which is the VAR Dumper. Despite its simple interface this is a very powerful little tool under the hood and I'm sure if you're not using it already you're going to love it. Some information before I start, I record in high resolution so there's no need to watch on a blurry screen. Choose high definition if that works for you. Would you like to join a growing group of PHP developers and take your skills to a new level? If that sounds like you, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon and welcome. So quickly here's where I'm starting from. I've got a controller called App Controller. I have a twig file called Index Twig which is in an app folder and that extends the base twig file. And I've just pasted some bootstrap into there. And here's what that renders, just a fairly plain HTML page. Okay, let's do our first dump. So we're going to start very simple with just a simple string. Foo equals bar, and I'll dump that out. Let's go over to the browser, refresh. And so down here in our debug toolbar, this is where you'll find what we've just dumped. So let's go back, and instead of dumping, I'm going to do DD, which means die and dump. That means it'll dump and then exit and if we do that it doesn't render the page because we don't actually get as far as this line here where we render it. Let's go and have a look at the method and as you can see there it exits with a status of 1. And you'll also see that dump and dd they both can take any number of arguments. So we'll add an, a second one here and we'll go and check this out also. And so there we have bar and buzz. Now what about if you want to use it in a non-Symphony project? I'll show you how to do that now. So I'll start with a total empty canvas, blank, uh, empty project. I'm going to compose it, require Symphony var dumper. So we'll let that install. You'll now see that I have a vendor folder. And if you notice inside of that, I have an autoload PHP file. That's going to come in handy. Let's create an index file in a public directory, which is a typical kind of web setup front controller index file. What I'll do is require once my auto load PHP file and that means I should be able to start using my var dumper. So I'll start simple with the same example that I just used in the Symphony project foo equals bar. We'll just dump that out. I've got a server, a built-in PHP server running which is pointing at this folder now. So I'll go over to the browser and there we go. Let's now go and take a look at this dump method in more detail. As you can see, it can take a single variable or multiple variables. The thing with passing a single variable is that it will return that single variable. So if that variable happens to be an object, it means we can chain properties or uh, method calls off of our dump. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to create a class. I'll just give it a name of my class. Doesn't really matter what we call it. And I'm going to give it a public method. And I'm just going to call this do something and this will just echo out a bit of text. That's all it needs to do. And then down below what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and instantiate a uh, object of my class. I'll dump that out. And then I'm going to chain onto the dump. I'm going to call the do something method, which is pretty cool. It's something which I really should use more often. So let's go and check this out in the browser. As you can see, it's dumped out the class and then it's printed the do something when it calls that method. Let's add a property just to make this a little bit more visually interesting. And go back to the browser. There you go, random property with a value of 100. And of course, I don't need to keep going back to the browser. I can actually just dump stuff out in the terminal. Let me demonstrate that now. So php public index.php. And there you go and it colors it and everything so actually behind the scenes there's two dumpers at play there's a cli dumper and a html dumper back in the symphony project now let's uh, start dumping stuff out in the twig and i'll show you some of the stuff you can do with that so if i want to dump stuff out like in line in the middle of the page i can use this method here as you can see that renders it on the page or the alternative is to do it this way dump foo and doing it this way then again it uses the debug toolbar like we showed before. One area where var dumper really excels is when you have something huge with lots of nesting for example the container. 
If I wanted to var dump the container, in fact I'll show you that first, this is what you would get if you tried to use PHP's standard var dumper. Refresh, and as you can see, pretty big. If you look at the icon in the top right corner, the page is still spinning. How would you pick out what you want from that lot there? However, switch that out for the var dumper and the dump method and it's a totally different story. So I'll dump this container and then we'll go back. I'll have to reload the page and down in the web uh, debug toolbar, as you can see, absolutely no problem rendering it. Very easy to find what you want. Love the way this is nested and you can just go and click on little arrows and find what you want. This is one of my favorite things about Var Dumper when you try and search through big objects like this. Another good thing is that you can dump the output to its own server. So I'll go back to how this was before and I'll dump out foo. Then in the terminal, I shall start its own server. I can do that in Symfony using PHP bin console server colon dump. And now I have a dump server running. So I can go over to the browser, refresh, and then we'll go and check out dump server and there you go. So this is pretty handy for stuff where you may have multiple dumps or you're dumping multiple things or you could have iterators where values are changing with each pass and it's something that you want to go back and scroll through. And that's something that's much easier to do when you're dumping out to its own dedicated server. So as you can see here I've just done a couple of things just to uh, see how easy it is to scroll through. And the dedicated dump server isn't just the reserve of Symfony Framework. You can also do this when you're using var dumper in a non-framework project like mine here. You're going to need Symfony Console, so I've composed a required Symfony Console there. The setup is a bit more involved. You're going to need this code here. It's about 10 to 15 lines. I just paste it into a file called serverdumper.php. Then I can set the server running with vendor bin var hyphen dump hyphen server all I need to do then is include my server dumper.php file and that should be me up and running okay I'll go and refresh the browser the dump's gone which is a good sign and there you go in my dumper server there's my class and I love how it shows you the date source and file also very easy for debugging to get a full understanding of what this powerful little tool is capable of, just check out some of the examples and the documentation. I'll try some out for you here. This is a pretty good one, error exception. So I'll copy that, paste it into my index file here, go over to the browser and refresh. And the good thing about this is I can hover over something and it'll tell me the value of this constant. So like I said before, there's two dumpers at play. There's a CLI dumper and there is the HTML dumper. So when you check things out in the browser, you get a little bit of extra functionality such as hover over, etc. I hope you've enjoyed this one and it's showed you some new things about the var dumper which you didn't know about before. For me, it's an essential tool. I use it in absolutely everything, whether it's a Symfony project I'm working on or a non-Symfony project. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and don't hesitate to share if you want to help others like yourselves help each other out. That's what good developers do. Also, if you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon. I release new recordings at least two times a week, and details of my schedule can be found on the discussion tab on my YouTube channel homepage.